Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Back at you again. <clears throat> After a whole week of a grinder. God, whoever thought about uh, freaking work. Anyway, so, you know, I'm getting uh, a bunch of subscribers uh, texting me, uh, <clears throat> reaching out for help and things like that. And, you know, I'm uh, very, very thankful that you guys uh, trust me with your equipment. I did. I did actually have Andy out of my Instagram. Follow me uh, on my Instagram. Uh, what is it? Uh, Tommy New York City. That something. I don't know. Just it's it's uh, in my description on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of uh, live chats. I do a lot of uh, live uh, support. So if you got an issue, got a question, um, get on Instagram. Request uh, live footage, and I'll do live footage with you uh, troubleshooting your system, and uh, hopefully other people will watch that, and uh, I will record it, and I will put it out, uh, you know, on Instagram, uh, make it available for everybody. Um, so today, the uh, troubleshooting that I did was actually very, very simple. Andy, my friend, um, he's on my Instagram, Andy from Queens, New York City, he uh, purchased a nice bike, electric bike, and I'm talking about like a motorcycle bike, right? Those those electric bikes, uh, you know, a 3000 uh, hot motor in the back, uh, nice little, uh, a little bit bigger than pit bike. Uh, it's, it's, it's getting extremely uh, popular here in New York, and everybody's getting their hands on it. Apparently, he got a good discount on it. Good bargain. Um, what was the problem? Problem was the battery was depleted. Now, how do we get together? How did he even uh, get to know me? And how did he reach out for me? <clears throat> so, about a year ago, I uh, did a video on my battery that I received. Um, and if you want to know the details, uh, down in my uh, video uh, library, Serious details uh, about my 50 amp hour battery when I received it, when I expected, and what actually, uh, how did it perform? Anyway, in uh, in that video, um, I described a couple of things. Take a look. Uh, so again, he bought a bike, very cheap, and the battery was completely depleted. I probably had one of those cheap cheap cell batteries, and. Uh, he saw uh, my video and he says, "You know what? Let me let me get it." So he got it off of uh, Amazon. Uh, a little bit more expensive, was it? Yeah, a couple of dollars more expensive. No big deal. And uh, he got it delivered. And of course, he got this bike. Now these electric bikes they have controllers on the side of the bike, which is cool. It looks like kind of like a tailpipe, right? And it's kind of like gold metal look. And uh, he shows me, he shows me a picture. So, of course, you got the face fire, face wires, which is three wires. Then you have two wires for the power, and they have one yellow wire, right? So, the face fire, face fire, that face wires is uh, pretty much three, three wires, right? And uh, the two, wire, two other wires are positive, negative. And there's one yellow wire, which is your ignition. So, uh, that, um, Kind of was an easy setup. So long story short, we troubleshoot it uh, right away and uh, tell him look because again he had difficulties. So he said, "Oh man, it's so many, so many wires. It's like a spaghetti wire, this and that." I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. Okay, you got literally six wires you got to work with, which is not bad, right? So I told him uh, the loading wires, uh, meaning the uh, unload wires that uh, move the uh, brushless motor is the uh, positive negative take that out put your distance connectors uh solder it sh heat shrink it you're good to go right go to pet boys autozone uh harbor freight buy heat shrink soldering uh, equipment solder um i usually use a torch gun so it's it's easier it warms up in two seconds i i, I have no time to warm up the whole thing however there is a uh a propane propane uh, um, soldering uh, gun pen pen and uh, that's actually very comfortable I probably will end up getting one if I do modifications to my bike uh, off the season since we are in a season 
just very 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 beginning of the season <clears throat> so and then again um and this is why is boom positive negative <clears throat> face wires we're gonna leave that alone go to the other side go to the controller we did the battery go to the controller and now boom you got the positive negative uh put uh your industries connectors on that that's your load and your charging uh wires you know xt xt uh, tx uh 60 is totally fine uh plug that in solder it heat shrink it you're good to go so it was quick and easy but yet you know for some people they need help with that which is cool because that's why i'm here you know anyway going back to the entire week that i spent on my bike so really monday tuesday wednesday I rode the bike Thursday, was pouring out here, um, <clears throat> only like two hours in the morning and it was beautiful and sunny, but you know, I did not take the bike, it was way too rainy, uh, this, you know, I would have been soaking wet in about two minutes, and um, again, I got to do about, you know, 20 miles uh, to the ferry, so I didn't take the bike, anyway, <clears throat> Monday was excellent. Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Friday was kind of awkward, which was yesterday because I finished very late. I did have my helmet and my goggles, and it was kind of dark. I didn't like that I had it so dark. I should probably get clear lens, goggles, but uh, that's that's in the air. Um, and uh, it's uh, it, it's it's okay, I think, because there's like nobody nobody in the on that. Uh, 1 30 in the morning. Do you know what I mean? It's like not literally one car. So maybe two cars I saw for the whole thing. Anyway, so it was awesome. Um, so in this time, was it roughly a, a little bit over a month, I believe five weeks? I did uh, 1300 miles, which is, which is decent. The battery's holding very well, so I'm very happy. But uh, so. This video is pretty much for you guys to reach out for troubleshooting. I um, had a few other guys that uh, reached out for me on the Instant Messenger, uh, on Instagram, on not really Facebook, but uh, mostly in Instagram. I get lots of feedback. I get lots of questions. Um, I, of course, have my steady, steady uh, guys, uh, my subscribers. I definitely appreciate that. So. That's pretty cool but anyway so i mean i'm here today just to guys let you know if you have any questions about the build it's cool i have monday I have uh, uh an, an, another subscriber that is out in queens he uh actually wants to take a look at my system because he likes it um he does like the battery he does like the controller it's cheap and it's good and it's convenient and it's reliable so if he pulls the trigger he'll get the exact same system he does have the frame uh he does have the wheels already everything is done uh he does have the brakes installed so pretty much all we're looking at we're looking at the alignment of the uh, rear motor because everybody has problems with that i don't know why uh your washers and everything that the nuts and bolts screws and all that so we're going to do that and uh uh side of the wires from the battery from the controller, probably extend the wires, uh, replace the wires instead of that uh, 10 gauge, we're gonna put eight gauge uh, wires on the battery and the control, well, control is actually good, that's actually good. So on the, on the battery and uh, <clears throat> plug it in and fire it up and uh, see how it works, okay? So that goes uh, if he pulls the trigger. But uh, Monday, which is day after tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday, I'm going to shoot over to Queens and uh, see if I can uh, uh, show this young man what's, what's this bike all about. What, what if I have any problems? Okay, so I still have that annoying problem with the kickstand. It moves back and forth. Nothing major, but it's there. It exists. And I will have to correct it. That's going to be a uh, project for off-season. And what else? My front wheel, it's... Uh, a little bit wobbly don't like that i actually either might have to take it apart when i do my front brakes or just order a new one 
which totally sucks, but I'll go to my old supplier because they will probably will be cheaper than any other supplier that I don't know since I already ordered the whole bike from them and uh, see if I can get some sort of replacement with a discount because I don't have a look. You know, this one is kind of lost, but I don't, I don't, I don't care. I, uh, I pay. It was, it was dirt cheap back then. I don't know with the COVID and all that right now. It might be a little bit uh, more expensive. Anyway, um, so that's the news. All right. I definitely appreciate you guys watching my uh, videos. Uh, again, reach out. Um, any electric issues, uh, any mechanical issues, you know, reach out to me. Uh, as to the motor, it's uh, it's hot. It's not warm. It's hot. It's uh, the weather is getting warmer, so that means the temperatures are higher. Um, am I going to blow my motor? I don't know. Is it possible? There is a possibility. So if I shoot a video and it says I blew my motor, you know what that means? It overheated and it blew up. Um, but I think the controller stops prevents that from uh, overheating the motor too high. I believe that's eh, one, uh, 195 degrees, <clears throat> which is almost 100 Celsius. So <clears throat> how do I address it? I, I Again, just like you guys reach out to me, I reach out to other people that have more experience with these bikes. And uh, nobody recommends putting any liquid into the uh, hot motor, okay? Uh, they do recommend to put the, uh, uh, the uh, cooling fans. All right, uh, man, I forgot that name for that. But you put it, you put it uh, over your rear wheel hub, and uh, it's like a cooling fit, like a radiator. It apparently uh, um, keeps the motor not cool or cooler, but it, the motor has the capability of cooling down faster. <clears throat> now, I'm lucky because I don't have any heels, so I'm not taking the route with the heels. And uh, <clears throat> imagine only if I had heels and I had to, you know, go up and down the hill. So that, that would be a, a bigger problem because the bike would be uh, even harder. However, <clears throat> I do have a spot, which is a Brooklyn Bridge, that goes up the, uh, up the hill. But, you know what, I, I don't sweat it. It just, it'll just uh, kind of uh, it will give me an excuse and kind of like an opportunity to... <clears throat> Get the uh, QS motor, three thousand. I'm sorry, five thousand with the uh, Salvaton, and uh, work with the battery. Again, I'm hoping for the battery uh, five years. To be honest with you, so I think my bike is gonna fall apart before my battery dies out. Um, it's catching a little rust. Um, the forks, yes, 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 the forks. Now, you know, one of these days when the forks, they, they, they also, they'll already say kaput, you know. John, finish with the forks, I'll get the DNM. It's going to be, it's a little bit different when you buy the entire system at once. Well, I didn't buy it at once, but I did, bought it, did buy it collectively or uh, separately and all that. So, uh, I just couldn't justify the uh, DNM. However, well, I didn't see the, the, the quality difference between cake. K was it K K E and a DNM uh, front shocks or uh, front forks. Now since I'm familiar with both companies, the uh, K K E and DNM, of course DNM it's uh, like a uh, you know Tesla and uh, K K E is like you know Kia you know that kind of thing. So <clears throat> would I buy K K E again? No. Would I buy DNM? Yes. So that's uh, that's the next plan. Um, you know, I would love to buy a, a different a different uh, um, different frame. You know, buy the uh, lighter frame. So that's uh, that's in the horizon. You know, once once all this uh, keeps going, um, before before I let go of this frame, I'll do uh, uh, you know a modification on my existing frame, just to see what's going on. You know. And we'll go from there. But these are the plans. See you later, guys.